Hi everybody and welcome back to another airbrush tutorial with DreadFX Custom Paint. Before we get into this video I just want to do a big shout out to Salvage Flippers. He's done a video and he's pushed my name across and a lot of you guys are new to my channel so I just want to say a big warm welcome to you lot and a big thank you to Salvage Flippers for doing what he did, that's much appreciated. Right we'll move on now guys. The first stages on this video was to project this image up and get it across to this panel. I went round with the pencil and lightly penciled in when the image was projected up and we were moving on now to just dropping in a bit of Ford Moondust Silver. That's the base coat that we're using guys. There you go, that's the rest of the Ford Moondust Silver around the car. You don't have to worry about going over the edges at the minute and we'll be masking out later. I've started to mask out with fine line the front grill. That's the shapes of the front grill masked in there. And there you go, we've started to mask out the rest of the car. This is two inch masking tape around this guys. Just basically a little pocket all the way around the vehicle. There you go, there's a full image of it. We've masked out the front wheel as you can see there and the number plate down the bottom corner. The next stage on this was to go around with a black base coat. This is a solvent base coat and just basically go around all the image, put a bit of black around the image and on the front grille. As you can see there guys, I've just gone round the car with a bit of black base coat and that masking is just holding off that black overspray onto the silver. There's the front grille again guys, just all blacked out, ready for the next stage. Right, moving on, we've demasked the front grille. I've dropped a bit of fine line round the lights and round the window. That's the front grille again, guys, that's demasked. That's all I needed was just that bit of black background in between them lines on the front grille. And we've moved on, we've masked out the front wheel, round the grille again, and the front windows and the side window. There you go guys, there's the front window masked off and a little pocket around the side window there. That's dropping down to the front wheel, I've done the same again. That's a little pocket around the front wheel and you can see the headlight there that's got a little pocket of masking tape around it. We've now moved on to the colouring in of the front grille. This was basically two colours, it's a shading grey which is a transparent and a transparent blue just putting in them shapes there you can see the shapes in that grill as the reflections of the grill with a little bit of blue on there guys and we're now dropping a little bit of blue onto the headlights as you can see in the image there and on that front alloy this is just the reflection for the chrome guys There you go, we're dropping the headlights in now. I'm using blacks and shading greys on this. I'm following the image off of a laptop for this. As you can see, we've dropped in the front wheel. There's a bit of shading on that and round the headlights. There's more details going in on the front headlights, guys, and a little bit more on that front alloy. We're just starting to drop in a little bit of blue. As you can see around that front window edge, I've sprayed in a little bit of blue on that. That's where the chrome trim is around the front window. And I've dropped a little dusting of blue on that side window as well. There's the other image guys, same again. That's just another picture of what we've just seen. A Little bit more blue to the headlights, front wheel, round that front window and a little bit on the side. And there's the laptop that we're working from, guys. There you go, now I've started to put some fine line down the car and I'm just pin lining off where the bonnet edge will be, as you can see there, and then down the side where the door edge is as well, guys. There's a little bit more shading gone onto the front wheel and round the headlights as well. We 
we've now added a bit more darks to the side window that's basically looking into the interior and there's a little bit of interior detail looking as though you're looking through the side window out of the back window continuing on with the shading guys we've dropped a black base coat down in between them two pin lines I've masked off the side of the car as well that's another pocket again guys on both sides of that fine line that's coming down the car that's just black base coat down there to give it a real small line so it gives you that shape of the bonnet edge and we're starting where that running board is down the side of the car we've just put a black line in and that's the side of the door going up to the back where the rear arch is. There you go, I've dropped my logo in on the number plate at the front as you can see there guys. And I'm just going around little bits of shading, probably a little bit darker in the front grille. A bit more darks to the lights and a little bit more on the alloy. Doesn't look much from the other pitch but I'm just going in knocking little bits back. And as you can see, I've dropped a bit of shading in on that front windscreen. We've just dusted over with a little bit of blue and the wind wipers are just slightly in there at the top now, as you can see. There's another image of it, guys. We've now demasked the front wheel, so that gives it that white wall effect to the front wheel. There you go guys, there's a little bit more shading on that front wheel. I'm knocking some of the sharp highlights into the chrome rim and the headlight. And I've now dropped in a little bit of shading on the window wipers, just darken them off. And I put the rear view mirror in, if you can see that. Just inside the car, there's a little black bit. That's the rear view mirror, guys. And now I've started to pin line in the front wheel arch as you can see that that's just a guide on the front there and there's a little bit of fine line on the opposite side of the bonnet just to knock that shape in where the bonnet at the front finishes in this image you can see here guys that's the iwata impact junior i've been using the blue fine line as you can see there that's a three mil blue fine line and we're using specialist paints it's a candy ruby red and a candy fool's gold for this guys there you go we've dropped two sets of candies in on this we've got the candy ruby red on the top of the car and then i've come down with the candy fool's, fool's gold done about three to four coats on both colors guys and now you can see i've dropped shading in on the car down the side of the car and we're dropping the highlights in now on the top of the wings just around the top of that grill just popping in then the highlights that's ford frozen white that i'm going in over the top of this candy guys and just dropping these highlights in just to make the tops pop a bit we've now moved on to the logo this was a two-part stencil on this i cut the stencil out we dropped the blue in, as you can see there, and we left the white on the center of that shield. That's the original white off the board. And I just stenciled this out for the Supreme Automotive Limited. And that's a blue base coat on that, guys. We've now moved down to the custom logo. Same again, this was stenciled out, chopped out. That's the white of the board. And then I dropped some silver base and then just done a blue transparent fade up the custom logo. So you've got that silver right at the top of the logo just there. There you go, there's a few more highlights on the car. We've got the bonnet. We've just highlighted that. We've highlighted round the front window. The wing mirror's now gone in, guys. We've put a little bit of highlights on that. I'm just popping these real sharp highlights in with an airbrush or I'm using a paint pen, a white paint pen, just to get them sharp highlights. 
There you go guys, that's both images now. We've got the car finished, the custom logos in, and the Supreme Automotive logos in now. There you go guys, there's the black background in now. This sign's nearly coming to an end guys. We've dropped all the black in now around the car, sharpened all that, all that's made the car pop right out now guys. There you go, there's the black around the Supreme Automotive logo there. I basically done this and went around with masked, uh, masked off the blue and then just sprayed the black around that logo just there. That's the custom logo, same again guys. I put the cutout stencil back over the custom logo and then just sprayed around it in black base coat. And there's the finished sign guys. These signs didn't get clear coated. It's the same as the mini one video that I've got up guys. These were going to the same company. These were all laminated in a gloss laminate. In this next video clip, you'll see another sign that I've done which is next to this custom one and it's a Range Rover. So it's the same process as doing this car but it's just another image guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just want to say a big welcome to all the new subscribers to my channel. I've got loads of new content coming up guys. I'm redoing videos. These are old videos that you see and I'm having to redo all this. I'm finding a load of my old work and just revamping it. There you go, there's the other one. That one's called Prestige and that's a Range Rover. So this company had three um, signs. It was the Custom, the Prestige and the Classic, which was the Mini Cooper S. Just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.